At the end of this video, you're going to know how to use Adobe Firefly boards to create a logo, create a product with that logo, and then also create marketing assets all with using AI tools. My name is Jared Liu. I'm an Adobe Firefly ambassador. I'm also a consultant and coach and educator in the AI visual space, and I can't wait to take you through this tutorial. Also, a huge thank you to Adobe Firefly for also sponsoring this video as well. Let's jump straight into it. When you open up Adobe Firefly boards for the first time, you'll be met with a completely blank canvas. You can do anything on here. You can bring in your own images. You can generate images with AI. You can also generate video. You can organize your space like a massive artboard and a canvas, add text, do all sorts of different things here to create this space in the way that works for you. The first thing we're going to do is actually create a logo. Every product needs a solid logo. And the great thing about Adobe Firefly boards is when it comes to art and video, there are tons of different tools that you can use as well as Firefly to achieve those results. What this means is you can use one prompt and use them with a bunch of different art models at once to get the comparison between different results. And you can kind of see the strengths across the different tools here. Here we're trying to create a logo. I want the logo to be of a coffee shop brand, a fake coffee shop brand using AI. I want there to be a logo of a bean, a coffee bean, and I also want some text on there. And we're gonna call this The Bean because I thought that's a really funny name to put onto a coffee cup. Explore all the different art models here. You can keep switching between them. You can adjust the prompts. And when you're happy, start dragging them onto your canvas. And the best way to also organize your work as well as we'll go through with this tutorial is once you have a collection of images you wanna to group together, you can actually select an artboard feature and where there will it on a separate canvas. This is really good for organization because once they're in this artboard, you can drag them all around really easily. And this is a great way to see all your ideas in one place before you select the one you want to move ahead with. Once you find the image that you'd like, we're going to switch to use a different and more specific AI art tool using Adobe Firefly boards, and that is called Flux Context. Why Flux Context is so good is that it's amazing at taking one image and reimagining it in a, in a whole different environment. So in this case, I want to go from having the one logo which I like to moving it to actually be on a takeaway coffee cup or some sort of coffee mug. The idea is I want to create this product first before applying it and giving it to someone to actually hold, which we'll cover very soon in, in the next step. So head down to the bottom again, select Flux Context, and you'll see a small little reference area underneath the text prompt area. Select that, and you'll have a little eyedropper where you can select the image that you want to use as part of the prompt. Think of this as a reference, and it works alongside your text prompt. Type in a prompt on how you want to use the logo. I made it quite clear here that I wanted it to focus on the text because I also wanted to remove that background. I wanted to focus on the text and the image, and I was able to start creating different coffee cup products based on the prompt that I typed in. I typed in cup, takeaway cup, mug, all these different terms, and I also wanted to be sitting in like an interior of a coffee shop. I want to really show that vibe of this product and see if it actually fits in the area that I want it to be made for. Here are a few examples. I put it into a separate artboard here just to keep this workflow as organized as possible. And you can see how Flux Context was able to completely use that image that we created in a bunch of different ways here. It applied it with the same font, with the same logo onto different products, which is just fantastic. So that already there is some content that we can use all AI from using the logo to our product, but I want to get someone holding this cup. And I also wanted to give a testimonial of how good this product is. So this is where we need to start also creating some people. And my favorite model for creating people is Ideogram. You can of course play around with all the other art models there to find the right vibe that you want. But I typed in a very basic prompt here saying, I want to have someone in some sort of coffee shop interior. I want them to be smiling and happy, but also importantly, I wanna make sure that their hands and arms are visible. I wanna make sure that all this is there because we're going to rerun this prompt afterwards to get these people holding the cup. By having the arms and the hands in the scene, it gives context for the future prompts of you know the perspective and the composition of how big these people are, where they are, and also how their arms look. And it's also very important to do this when we're trying to put a product on them. Once we're happy with them, I put them into their own artboard here. I've got these two people. I'm going to use Flux Context again, but now we're going to you know push it up a little notch, and we're going to combine two images together. We're going to combine the image of the coffee cup with our product logo on it, and then we're also going to use a second image reference of the people that we have just made. The prompt that we'll use here is going to combine both of these together. It can be very simple as the woman or the man holding the coffee cup, smiling at the camera, speaking to the camera, because 
keep in mind, we're going to move this to video afterwards. We want this to be a still frame of them already looking like they're mid-flow talking about something. So we have the two images made now. They're holding the cup. It's displayed beautifully. And I could go straight to video here. I could go image to video. But I do want to make some minor adjustments because I can see that from the photo of the man, it does depict him perfectly. But there are some people in the background that I want to remove. I also want to remove and change some of the clothing as well. It's made us a much more casual scene. And this is where we're going to use Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, also known as Google Nano Banana, which is really good at image editing and modification. It's a fantastic tool where you can use a reference image and adjust it while keeping the composition of the shot. And in this case here, I wanted to clean up that image a little bit. I wanted them to just be in a white shirt and I wanted to remove the people from the background. And you can include all of this into a single prompt here and you can really play around to get the shot that you want. Now for the really fun bit, we're going to move our final edited model shot with the product into video. And the best way to do this is using Google Veo 3. There are a bunch of different video models with Adobe Firefly boards, but Google Veo 3 in particular is quite special because you can include prompts for dialogue and sound effects. And I want to have videos of these guys speaking to the camera, talking about how great this coffee product is, and you can include that directly in the prompt. Depending on the prompts and the text you put in, you should be now left with two videos based on the process that we followed that looks something like this. Welcome to The Bean, my favorite coffee shop in New York City. Well, it's delicious and the staff are so friendly here. And there you have it. That's how you go from a completely blank canvas on Adobe Firefly boards, from creating your own logo, adding that logo to a product, adding that product to the hands of an actual person, and then putting that through a video tool to get them speaking about it all completely with AI tools. If you have any comments or questions or any, uh, any, any challenges that you're facing, please comment it down below or send me a DM. I'm absolutely happy to help. I want to thank Firefly, Adobe Firefly once again for sponsoring this video, and I really hope this is helpful. I really can't wait to see what you create.